It was actually great to watch your, your commentary to the BCDC today before they voted. I'll quote you here. You said, you guys need to give Oakland its shot. Um, were you pretty happy by not just the decision, but by the fact that it was 23 to 2? Yes. Uh, that is a decisive victory and a statement that people can have confidence that the due diligence has been done about this project. It is a job maker, not a job taker. Well, Libby, in baseball terms, the city council is on deck. Now, <laughs> when will they start walking to the plate and get up there and get that big hit? <laughs> well, we have a few teams to deal with, um, but they definitely are going to have at least an exhibition game um, on Tuesday. And that is when they decide whether or not to put, you know, a, a tactic from the opposition, uh, a ballot measure that honestly says nothing that would not be binding, would cost Oakland taxpayers more than a million dollars just to place it on the ballot and would be a vehicle for more misinformation in your mailbox. Please weigh in and tell the city council to do their jobs and not put an advisory measure on the ballot this November. Yeah, and you're talking about something that apparently they will bring up on the 5th of July, uh, two council members specifically that are interested in this. And I want to continue on that because at one point today during the BCDC's uh, conversation, somebody who was actually voting as a member of their committee couldn't even identify Howard Terminal on a map when it was outlined clearly in red. This is a person who hopefully had been educated by their staff. Um, but is it that kind of either misinformation or a, a non-educated perspective about, you know, what a difficult project? Is it that type of thing that makes you worry about any kind of public vote on Howard Terminal? Because it is difficult to understand for most people. It is difficult and there have been such bad sports deals in the past. Yeah. Let's just be honest. Oakland got built by the Raiders. Uh, we are still paying a debt on the Coliseum while they play in Las Vegas. So there is a history of bad sports teams. People have a reason to be skeptical, but you better believe as the person that really went through that painful process with the Raiders, this project is great for Oakland. It will be great not just for ballpark fans, but for Oaklanders for generations to come who want access to the waterfront, public parks, affordable housing, good union jobs. All of that will be made possible by this ballpark deal. That's going to be great. Now, Libby, you know, with the inf misinformation out there, I read an article that came out of Las Vegas saying that MLB had just waived the relocation fee. Do you think that the city council can see through that and see that that's misinformation? Uh, I, I certainly believe they can. Um, those rumors have been flying. And let me be honest about Commissioner Rob Manfred. He has been nothing but supportive and helpful. He knows that it is bad for baseball to take teams away from their hometowns. So he has been really a friend and a supporter of this project from the moment that he gained that position. I'm very thankful to him. The A's have been good partners. Now we're still in it with them. Let me just be, <laughs> be clear. There are a few little details to work out. But we are going to be delivering a transformative project for Oakland, not just for A's fans. I'm excited. I'm over the moon today. Um, I don't know if you heard my kind of emotional musings of of thinking about sitting on that lawn with my grandchildren and and thinking about the thousands of Oakland families that have been able to stay in Oakland just like the A's because of the good union jobs, because of the affordable housing that are going to come with this project. Yeah, I thought you might have been quoting Hamilton when you were talking about giving Oakland its shot. You know, that's, that's <laughs> instantly where my, my was, mind It went. was in my mind, I'll admit and, it. And they, they cut you a little <laughs> short. I think you could have gone a couple more minutes longer. You were, you were rolling strong in that one, so it was, it was good to see. Uh, but speaking of that meeting, um, and you were actually here in this studio, I want to say two or three weeks ago, and one thing you said was, I would really like for people backing this project to show more more support in meetings and decisions just like today. I thought that was one of the biggest differences of, of today's vote and meeting versus all the other ones we've been through, whether it's been the city or the county regarding this project. There were supporters there today in person, and it wasn't just the in-person aspect. I felt like just the points they were making and the perspectives they were giving were more relevant than ever. I agree, and people 
see it makes a difference when you show up and yeah. you lend your voice to public decision making. I believe that we had such a decisive victory today. I mean, 23 to 2. Uh, I'm sure the A's would love to have that score at the end of a game. That's a good record. It uh, really but it's is. Because the fans showed up and they cheered and they spoke their truths about this project. A's fans, there are going to be a lot more meetings after today, yep. and we need you to show up. And not just A's fans, Oakland fans. Oakland has been passed by so many times, and this is our opportunity for a spectacular renovation of our waterfront. Yeah, Libby, I'll be speaking to eight cities on Saturday, and I'm sure they're going to be asking me the question, are the A's going to stay? But Libby, you're a Titan at heart. And so am I. <laughs> All right, Skyline. No matter what. Now, you're going to be out of here in November. Do you feel any urgency to get this done before oh, honey, you leave Let's office? just be clear, January. January, January my bad. January. January. <laughs> you know what he's saying, though, right? Like, there, 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 there's a time ticking, and you want this opportunity to, to do Oakland right. Right. I do, and I'm, I'm less nervous about the new mayor because I think there are, are several mayoral candidates that understand the benefits of this project. A little bit more nervous about the city council. Depending on what happens in November, we could see half half of the city council turn over. And that half does not include the two people that have been consistently not supporting this project. So that is what really makes me nervous with regard to timing. It is complicated. You can see how much due diligence has gone into the process to date. And so that is certainly driving the timeline. But let's be honest. Oaklanders should not have to wait for those good jobs, for that affordable housing, for a new ballpark, for the A's, for a glorious, spectacular waterfront neighborhood. We Lib need it now. Libby, we appreciate your time, and obviously it's been a long day for you, so we're just getting started with our baseball game, but for you to stick around tonight, very special. We do appreciate it, and we hope to talk to you soon. Uh, anytime. On days like today, I am available. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Libby. Friend of the program, Libby Schaff. I think we're at that. We're almost at that, that phase yet. <laughs> hey, coming up in our final segment, I can't believe it. We're actually going to talk some baseball.